Cheers! I'm Tiago and welcome to Keep It Simple Astronomy channel. So, we all want uh, our observing site as dark as possible. Uh, many of you use simple tricks to to adapt the the eyes to to the darkness. I wrote some of the tricks I use, some more than other, um, to adapt my eyes to the darkness. And if you if I forgot some, please. Put it in the comments and I uh, edit the, the video description to edit. Um, first, uh, I will show you my temporary solution. Uh, this is my light shield. I use tarps. Uh, some of you may use two, but if not, there's a, one idea, a simple one that you can use in any backyard. So this is my light shield solution. It's a temporary solution because I have to wait by for the legal stuff to, to be accepted uh, in order for me to, to modify this. So I will show you first my light shield solution. So as you can see, it's a simple and easy solution to protect me from external light, whether from cars, ambulances and street lights. And it's uh, very easy to, to mount and, and very efficient. Besides, this protects from a, a LED light that I have in the street. Uh, and allow me to to make my observations with more darkness around me. So this is a basic solution needed. You can use a lot of stuff, uh, different stuff. I use this one because it's easier for me. And uh, at the end of the observation, I just unlock and let it out. Now, we have, uh, as you know, more, more things that uh, help you to adapt your eyes to darkness. For visual observations, it's very important the dark adaptation. I usually do my EAA sessions with a laptop and then at the end I start my visual observation uh, not from the beginning because I al I'm already in darkness in a way but then i need fully darkness so i shut down the the laptop and start using uh, the little tricks one that you already should use it's the the led light uh, this i use in eaa and also in visual observations one that i like very much this is very good. I don't see so many people using it. But it's very good if you are during observations, for example, you need to go inside the house to, for something to eat or drink or whatever you need from inside the house. And you will be exposed to light. So you will be, uh, after uh, an adaptation to darkness, you will blow it all with the, the lights inside the house 
if you live with family, especially, they are with lights and they, it will blow your, your dark vision. So I use these goggles. This is for um, laser work and they are red. Astronomic uh, shops have them. I bought it, I don't know where, but uh, they work fine. I just put my glasses and go inside. And then when I, I arrive, I take it off. I Usually I don't use these glasses uh, during the observation because it gets all so dark that uh, I may bump the telescope or something because we, we will be really in darkness. But inside the house with the lights, it will protect you. And when you arrive to the darkness, you will notice the difference. Another thing, let me... Ah, they say, people say that uh, avoiding sun brightness during the day, it, it helps. Well, I use glass, sunglasses. It's my way to, to be around here. I live in a, in a place full of sunlight with beach and everything. So it's impossible for me. I, I just forget that, that, uh, that kind of help. But I use my, my sunglasses and that's it. I don't want to be too much picky in that. If you can, observe from a dark side, but we assume that we, you will not go into to a dark side uh, or a darker side than yours. So I'm talking about uh, situations uh, for solutions for, for uh, uh, not, not uh, traveling. Uh, let me see more. Uh, averted vision. Uh, I read somewhere that averted vision uh, help to um, the work of the, the eyes, the retina, or whatever. So it makes some sense to me. I use averted vision always to in visual observations, so it's like I forget it. If you use uh, your, your eyes work independently from uh, each other. So if you need to receive some light and you close your eye that uh, you want to preserve the dark adaptation, the other one will, will be blown by, by the light. But then when you in the darkness again, you open both eyes and the, the eye that was covered will not uh, be affected. It's the nature, it's like that. So another thing that I use, it's this pirate thing that I have that I put like this, but not to do that. I use this when I, I want to uh, observe like this the eyepiece and protect uh, this, this other eye from uh, distraction, basically. What they say is that if you going to uh, use this, for example, this eye to, to observe, and then you will receive light because you, you go into inside the house or something, you just close this, this eye to protect it, and then when you arrive again, you do like this again. So it will be protected. I prefer to use this, to go inside the house, it's more practical, you go, you, you have uh, uh, mobility to do whatever you want and then you take it out. Another thing that I use, this, uh, this one is, for me it's very effective. I use a, a pillow cover, this is a simple, cotton pillow cover. I do like this. See? As it is small, it uh, will not bother you. I do like this. 
and I take the cap and I do like this. This is very effective because you will be watching and it will cover the sides, especially the sides and from above. Well, you can adjust it better. You can do like this if you want. I don't like to use too much cover because sometimes I, I want to look at the sky. And like this, it will not bother me. I can look at the sky and I can look through the eyepiece. It will help. As it has, uh, it is not all covered. It will be some hair around. It will not fog your eyepieces. Of course, if you put everything close uh, at the winter, may f may uh, have fog in, in the eyepiece. But I never had it. I use it like this. This is very effective. It's the one I like most to to have uh, to keep the the, the darkness uh, in my eyes and uh, all the reflections disappear because if an ambulance or something, some light, a, unexpected light came, uh, you will not notice because you, you will be covered. And uh, at the winter, instead of this kind of cap, you can use the, the, the warm caps that uh, you usually use, you and me usually use during the, the um, cold winter nights. There's people also that recommend not to drink alcohol. Uh, as I don't drink alcohol, I don't know. But uh, it makes sense. Alcohol blows your mind and it should uh, blows your, blow your, your eyes too. Uh, so it's another recommendation. And uh, that's it. These are my most used uh, uh, dark adaptation tips. The, the one that I use most is this one, the pillow cover and uh, the Googles when needed. Uh, and of course, this I use in all sessions. When I put uh, the, the telescope outside, I'm always with this. And uh, I think it's all. I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, it helps a lot the channel. And have a nice weekend.